creating a shadow border. We are going to make a shadow border effect through the creative use of border, solid colour and merge nodes. First we use a border node to make a white padded area 250 pixels wide around our original image. A solid colour node is then used to create a solid light grey image having the same dimensions as the original image. Next, a normal merge node style is employed without adjustment. We can now see that the light grey image sits on top of our original, now bordered image and is orientated to the top left. Note the little white dot at the top left hand side of the light grey image. Capture the white dot to move the light grey image to its new placement as shown. We add a second solid colour node to make a white image similar to that of the light grey image. When this is done, we use a border node to expand the white image size a little. In actual fact, we could create our final effect without making the white image at all, but it makes it easier to place the original image later, such that there appears to be a shadow under it. Using the same method that we employed in placing the light grey image, we again use a normal merge node style without adjustment. Now, move the white image in the same manner as before to its new placement as shown. Finally, we use a normal merge node style without adjustment to place the original image without its border on top of the previous merge result. Because we are placing the original image on top, we have to make sure that the inputs to this final merge node are as shown. The base image, which is now our previous merge result, always connects to the top input. The top image, in this case the original image, must therefore be connected via the bottom input. When things look correct, press publish, but take a moment to review the final result. Don't be afraid to go back and make adjustments, even at this stage, until you're satisfied. This video shows the effect creator going back a step to make adjustments prior to once again pressing the publish button. This is normal, and in fact good practice. Here is a bit of wisdom. Because of the creative way that this effect has been made, it might be best to state the aspect ratio of the original image when publishing the effect, as it might not work very well with other ratios. The ratio used here was 3 to 2, which corresponds with a typical 6x4 print. So call the effect something like shadow border for 3 to 2 ratio landscape images. Just a reminder, as shown, that it is worth switching images to make sure the effect is generally usable. Have fun as you create your own effects. <laughs>